The state government has announced it's spending nearly $13 million over the next four years to continue a bushfire awareness campaign. But some are asking why it isn't moving more quickly to help homeowners put in more concrete preparations for the bushfire season. They want to know why it isn't fast-tracking new regulations to let people build fire bunkers on their properties. Patrick Emmett has the story. Sleepy Hollow Farm looks like an idyllic place to stay. Tucked away in a valley at the end of a quiet dead-end road just outside Yankalilla. Holiday makers can pat the cows, cuddle the sheep and relax. But on a catastrophic bushfire day, they could have a very different experience. If we have a bad northerly, in particular on a catastrophic hot day, all of this will burn. George Adler runs the B&B with his wife, but he also knows fires. He was a member of the CFS for decades and faced the fury of both Ash Wednesdays. So he's done everything he can to protect his home and guests, clearing the property and installing shutters and pumps. He thinks his home would survive, but he says the horror of the Black Saturday bushfires proved he needed more precautions. The Victorian experience has shown that even defendable properties weren't defendable on the day. Added to that danger is the fact that many of the Adler's guests come from cities and overseas with little idea of the local area or what to do in a bushfire. So he approached his local council to install these bushfire bunkers. Developed by a Victorian company, they're designed to comply with new Australian bushfire building regulations. If people are caught by a fire, they can survive inside the bunkers with enough oxygen for about an hour. We discussed this with the wildfire people and decided that the safest place would actually be just out here outside the gate. The company came to Yankililla to advise on where to put the bunkers. They're designed to be built away from trees and the house if it catches a light. But when the Adlers approached the council with their plans, the answer left them shocked. Now the council said to us, we can't authorise you to put this in because there are no state regulations in this state that give guidelines that they can do it. There has been some debate about whether bunkers are safe after people died inside them on Black Saturday. It's thought they suffocated after fires sucked oxygen out of the bunkers and they filled with smoke. After evidence about those deaths at the Bushfire Royal Commission last year, it was decided to bring in new national standards for bunkers. They were released in April, and in May they were adopted by the Victorian government. It had already been using interim standards it brought in at the time of the Royal Commission. But the new standards still haven't been enacted in South Australia. It scares me that we can't put in a bunker, and these bunkers are OK in Victoria. So the question I ask is, why can they protect themselves in Victoria, but we in South Australia can't? Now I'm disappointed that here we are in July, uh, when we should have had this fixed several months ago, and then gone out and marketed to the community in those areas. This is the South Australian approved standard. Family First MP Robert Brokenshire runs a farm at Mount Compass and is also pursuing the issue. The former Emergency Services Minister says time is now running out for people to install bunkers before the fire season. And if they've agreed to a national standard, that should conform to South Australia and we should be moving quickly to say, here's the design, here's the standard and fast-tracking approvals for people that want to construct them uh, through local government. No one from the government was available for an interview on the issue, but a spokesman for Planning Minister Paul Holloway did issue this statement. The Australian Building Codes Board in April released a performance standard for private fire shelters. This standard is yet to be incorporated into the Building Code of Australia. The South Australian Government is aware of this new performance standard and considering whether it should be adopted into the local building code before the next bushfire season. But George Adler says the time for talk is over. Because if I lose people, if I lose my property, because the government hasn't moved quickly enough, and they've had two years now to move on this since the fires in Victoria, then that would be a real waste.